Today I'm continuing with the field trimming, uh, cutting a path to the pond, and later I'll start clearing mesquite trees near the pond. In addition, I'm going to finish pumping the pond water out so that it can dry up before I bring in the excavator. Here we go again with having to replace the string in the trimmer. I have to replace it about every 15 minutes or so. All right, so I got to the water. This is some thick grass. Uh, it keeps stalling out the trimmer because it's so thick. Anyway, gives me access to the pond so I can finish draining it. Here I am where I left off. Hot day again. Gotta keep this in the shade. The uh, phone actually overheated because of the heat, the hot sun. Well, this is me in my RV trying to cool down. I can work maybe about 30 to 45 minutes in this hot sun, then I gotta get back into the RV and get my heart rate down. It's just super hot. I'm making some good headway though. Uh, this grass is really thick around the pond and so it's taking a little longer to cut it all down. I'm actually just cutting a path um, to the areas that I need to get to. Cutting all the grass around the pond would take a long time. Uh, it's so thick. So I'm just going to cut uh, paths so that I can get to and from certain places. I'm planning to actually cut down uh, some of the smaller trees on the side of the pond and expand the pond so that it's a nice big pond or you know for me it'd be a big pond maybe about 0.75 to one acres uh, is what i'm looking at so but i want to get all prepped and ready to go for the excavator when it comes The belt already came off. That's a, not a good sign. I don't know if you can see down there, but the belt came off right down here. 
We only put about four hours of work on it and the belt's already coming off. That's, that's pretty bad. Well, considering the chainsaw decided not to work anymore, that's a good place to stop with the trees today. I guess I'll check on the status of the pond pumping. All right, you can see that I got most of the water pumped out of this side over here. Christian's hooking up the trailer and the pump. The rest of this will dry out pretty quickly. I actually saw a snake in here it was eating some of the minnows that got stuck. I haven't finished pumping that water over there. That's not too much, but I'll get that next time. I've been doing the cutting over here of these trees. I'm getting this whole line of trees cut so that when I get the excavator in here, I'll be probably dumping the dirt in that area from uh, the pond and I'm gonna expand it out this way as much as possible. Looks like I'm getting close to getting everything prepped for the excavator. Still need to finish clearing some of the trees and I should be ready. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.